Hello everyone, this is a June 13 question, uh, June 13 question, paper 1, 2 and the question number is 10. Uh, it's concerned with the chapter energetics. The question reads, a uh, student mix 25 cm cube of uh, 0 0.1 mole per dm cube sodium hydroxide solution with uh, 25 cm cube of 0 0.1 mole per dm cube hydrochloric acid and noted a temperature rise of uh, 2.5 degrees Celsius. Uh, this means the reaction is exothermic as expected. Uh, what is the enthalpy change of reaction per mole of NaOH? Uh, so uh, the formula for delta H is uh, Q by moles. Now we have to find uh, Q which is uh, the heat energy and uh, N is the uh, moles of NaOH. So basically what is happening in this reaction is uh, we have a, a vessel here uh, or a cup which we normally do in uh, paper 3 enthalpy change uh, uh, questions or reactions experiments. Uh, we are pouring 25 cm cube of NaOH and we are pouring 25 cm cube of HCl and the uh, total volume uh, present in this uh, polystyrene cup is 50 cm cube of uh, NaOH plus HCl the products will be sodium chloride and water uh, and uh, there's, there's a slight assumption we'll make to solve this type of questions which is uh, uh, the 50 cm cube uh, solution is mostly water. Uh, to, uh, this is to make the calculation easier. So uh, this is just a basic assumption we are doing uh, just for the sake of this question. The 50 cm cube is mostly water. So uh, the formula for Q is uh, uh, Q is a negative mc delta t. Uh, we have C as uh, 4.18 which is from the data booklet and Delta T is temperature rise uh, which we have been given as 2.5 degrees Celsius. Now uh, mass is the density of water is uh, 1 gram per centimeter cube. Its density is 1 grams per centimeter cubed and uh, uh, as density is mass divided by volume, uh, the mass would be uh, density multiplied by volume which is 1 gram per centimeter cubed multiplied by 50. Uh, 50 so 50 centimeter cubed uh, this cancels out and we have mass as 50 grams. So 50 into 4.18 into 2.5, uh, there's a negative sign here, uh, which is uh, 50 into 4.18 into 2.5, which is 522.5, negative 522.5 joules. Now since uh, the total energy release is uh, negative 522.5 joules, I think uh, this option should be uh, fairly incorrect, although we are not rejecting this right now. Uh, the another thing we have to do is calculate the number of moles of NaOH because the question asks what is the enthalpy change of the reaction per mole of NaOH. So moles of NaOH is uh, concentration multiplied by volume. Concentration is 0 0.1 uh, moles per dm cubed and uh, volume is 50 cm cube and uh, we have to convert it into dm cube by multiplying it by 10 to the minus 3 or dividing by 1000 uh, dm cube and the this cancels out. Uh, no, no, this is 25. Sorry about that. 25 and uh, yeah, because uh, the volume of NaOH is 25 cm cube. Now, if we multiply this 25 into 10 to the minus 3 into 0 0.1 is uh, 2.5 into 10 to the minus 3. Now, if we just plug in the values into our formula, we have uh, uh, delta H as negative uh, 522.5 joules divided by 2.5 into 10 to the minus 3 moles uh, which is uh, calculating this we'll have negative 522.5 divided by the answer which is saved uh, minus 209000 minus 209000 joules per mole uh, since the uh, two option choices are uh, we can cancel out this because this doesn't match with this and this is also in, in joules per mole. Now since the two options are in kilojoules per mole, uh, we'll just multiply it by 10 to the minus 3. Into 10 to the minus 3 kilojoules per mole, uh, which is uh, this 3 and this cancels out, which is negative 209 kilojoules per mole. Uh, this makes option A the correct answer.